been a little while since I put a video up on YouTube, but haven't broken a streak yet. So if you guys are cheering for me, awesome. If you guys are hoping I fail, sorry, not today. Not today, Satan. <laughs> um, today I modified the uh, Sunday strength and conditioning wide, which was a 13 minute AMRAP of uh, 10 up downs, 15 slam balls, and 20 box step ups with the slam ball. So, decided to modify. I did uh, four rounds uh, five pull ups, 10 up downs, 15 slam balls, and 20 box step ups, all with a 20 pound slam ball and 24 inch box. Took a little over 13, 13 minutes, 13, 17. Um, it's a tough one for sure. Not used to using those muscles and moving that way. Uh, the one thing I can tell you is uh, I think the most important part of this workout for me today was the fact that my back started getting really tight and that hip closing movement that goes into the slam ball and the up downs. Uh, if you're sitting a lot and you're not properly getting your hips loosened up uh, those muscles are pretty short and tight and if you go do some hard workout you might start to get a little bit of low back pain I know that's the case for me didn't warm up enough for tonight's workout so when I got to those things that started making it tight I really focused on bracing and trying to do the work the uh, the reps as well as possible um, that helped uh, slowing down stretching a couple times helped out a little bit too I'm gonna stretch a little more now uh, don't 
underestimate the importance of stretching. It's a simple thing to do, it doesn't take too long. Uh, the couch stretch, it's gonna be numero uno for you desk jockeys. So I might as well just show you real quick. Imagine I am sitting, this is a couch here, right? Couch, back piece. I'm just gonna put my knee on where your ass would be, my foot up on the back part where your back rest would be. And I like to be as square as possible. And notice I'm not super flexible through here. So I'll try to maintain a pretty straight line going from my knee to my shoulder. I'll squeeze my glute tight on my right side here and just slowly kind of push back into it. Hope the camera can see me, but I'm pushing back with this leg while squeezing this glute and feeling the stretch all through here. And I'm getting in the, in the quad more than hip flexor, so that just tells me that my quad in the front is pretty tight from last week's uh, leg workout. So I'll hold that, I'll hold the glute for a little bit and relax and reach back into a little bit more. Um, those are really good, simple ones you can do at home while you're watching TV or at your desk at work while you're doing your work stuff. So do the other side a little bit. And again, I'm leaning forward. I'm not super flexible. I'm really tight through here. I just squeeze that glute. Try to stretch out the quad a little bit. Hold that glute uh, squeeze for a little. Relax. Just reach back into a little more. Squeeze it again. So I know for sure that uh, I know for sure that my quads are really tight because normally I feel that stretch in the uh, in the, in the hip flexor in the front and the hips. So I'm gonna roll out my quads a little bit, stretch them out a little bit more, and uh, that more than likely will loosen my low back up. It's not too bad, but it's definitely a little bit tight. So stretch those out, loosen things up, and uh, play around with it. So day, I don't know, 509, 508, I'll put it in the description, I'm not really sure, but like, comment, subscribe, send me a message, question if you got anything. Otherwise, uh, later.